Let us begin. Let us begin by standing on our mat. Oops, yes, immediately I have to adjust this. Oh, I might have to. Okay. Standing on our mat. Feet, have a look at those feet. Let's just have a little bit of a bounce on those heels. So knees bent again. Then we're just going to bounce on the heels just to feel the earth beneath the body. And just let the arms be floppy. Let the knees be very bendy. Just kick up a bit of energy from the ground by just letting that little bounce happen. And have some breaths. So it's just generating a bit of energy in the body. And then we're going to lift the shoulders up, breathe in through the nostrils. And out through the mouth. Good. And again, breathe in through the nostrils. Out through the mouth. And again, breathe into the nostrils. Squeeze those shoulders up high, up by the ears, and out through the mouth. Good. And then we're going to roll. Let's do some rolling. Let's let the knees bend as well. Let's just get the body a little bit more fluid. These lovely circles. It starts just with the shoulders. The arms are just floppy there still. The knees are bending. Lifting and rolling the shoulders back, and then you start to see the elbows kind of join in. Let the elbows join in. Elbows lifting. Breathe with it. Breathe. Lifting the elbows high. The elbows are just elbows are just going up, but they're on a cord almost. And then the arms are going right up, and then we're really opening the whole body, whole front of the body, particularly the chest. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, opening up. Opening up your wings, opening up your chest, opening up your heart, expanding the front of the body. Inhale, exhale. And just let your arms swing back and forth, bending the knees. Okay, and then we're gonna go uh, forwards now. So just rolling those shoulders forwards, rolling. Let the knees bend as well. So we're really going with that movement. So the whole body's joining in. You might even feel your toes lifting off the ground and then we just take the elbows up a little bit and they get higher and higher breathe with it coordinating the body with the breath and then the arms are coming right up high until they're right up by the ears and it's like you're diving in diving in diving into the yoga practice inhale exhale good take the feet apart we're just going to do these little arm swings so the arms are really heavy still Knees bend, just loosening up and just releasing a little bit of shoulder there. Breathe, nice and easy. Breathe. And we'll take that into a twist. So a similar kind of thing, loosening the body. Knees are bendy, feet are about shoulder width apart. And we're just coming into these twists. Make it really easy. Make your arms very heavy at the back of the hands, smack into the lower back. Bend deeply into the knees. Let the body just find some space around it. Breathe. Look right behind you, twisting a little deeper. <sighs> Loosen everything up. Slowly come to a stop. Let's half breath. Beginning of the week often needs a bit of a half breath. So <laughs> inhale, lift up, lengthen, then <sighs> the arms swing. Give them a few swings there. And again, breathe in, fresh new in breath. Empty everything out on a swing the arms, bend the knees. And again, breathing in. Inhale and then I think we need one more of these. Breathing in. Swing the arms a little bit. Arms together. And shake. Yeah, I think there's a need to just release a bit of tension here so that we can get the energy moving in the body. Now we're just taking into the legs. So let's just take the hands to the hips and we're just going to lift the knees quite quickly, get some energy moving in the legs, get the knees really high, get the legs moving very fast. Keep the chest lifted and elevated, shoulders back, down, away from the ears. Breathe, yeah, breathe. Okay, now we'll bring the heels to the back side. So get yourself in the back side there. And you can turn around while you're doing it if you want to. I just turned around to show you the side view. But that's kind of makes it a bit more fun. You can turn around as you something to try. Might test the balance a little bit. 
And I'm going to lift the knee and open it out to the side. Lift the knee and open it out to the side. Lift it high. So let's see how the hips feel today. Listen for any little sounds. Listen and feel if the sounds are becoming less. Breathe. Good. Now we're going to take the leg out to the side. Breathe. Breathing deeply. In and out through the nostrils. Good. Breathe. Okay. We're just going to take those fingers and just going to pummel the chest down just to give ourselves a little bit of an uplift, open the heart. Ah, yeah, maybe some, ah, some sounds. Make some sounds as you breathe out as well, breathing in. Ah, ah, good. The sides, high ribs there. Ah, good, okay. I'm gonna shake the feet apart a little bit more. We're gonna do some palm trees to get this lovely bendy trunk. So breathe in, lift the arms up. Stretch the fingers up to the ceiling, breathing in. Breathing out, we're gonna lean over to the left. As you lean over to the left, keep your body in line. Keep your arms in line with your body and push into the foot you're leaning over to. Then inhale, lift the arms up. Then exhaling, leaning over to the right. As far as you can, then the in-breath lifts you up. And the exhale, you're leaning down to the other side. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhaling. One more time each side, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And lift up one more time and lower the arms down to the sides. Come to the front of your mat if you can move something in a second. Let's come to the front of the mat. Let's come into the Trikonasana triangle. So feet hips width apart, check them out. Have a look at those toes. Maybe this is the first time you've had a proper look at your feet today. Bring your hands to your heart center and, that, and just encourage that chest to lift towards those hands, shoulders down away from the ears, chin, chin tucked in. Nice long spine, breathe in. Put the weight onto the left, and as you breathe out, take a step back with the right. Just get the feet at right angles to each other. Feel this pelvic tilt, strong belly. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest, open the palms wide. As you breathe out, reaching over to the left and down. Make contact with that leg. And then reach up away from it with the right hand. Open the chest, turn the chest towards the ceiling there. Soften the knees. Just have a little moment to soften those knees, give them a little bend. Breathing in and out through the nostrils, deepen your breath. Make sure your head is in line with your, with your neck, with your spine. And making sure the shoulders are down away from your ears. So really tuck them back. Soften the feet, feel the ground beneath your feet. Use the inhale to come up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Bend into the right knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Now step back with the left. Good. Find your feet, even weight between the feet. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest wide. Breathing out, reaching over to the right and down. Make contact with that lower leg. Reach up with the left hand. Breathe. Looking up at those left fingertips, giving them a wriggle. Good. Twisting, trying to look, trying to take the chest. The chest wants to look up at that left hand. Drop the left shoulder back, down away from the left ear. Soften the knees. Feel the feet. Lift the toes and place them down. Yeah. Provide plenty of uh, support in the middle section, the lower back, the abdominals. Everything is really um, working together. I use the inhale to come up. Exhale, lower the arms down, bend into the left knee and bring yourself back in front of the mat. Let's take a moment just to, when you're standing there, just give your legs a little bit of a 
shake, needs a little shake just to reset the body. And then we're going to come into triangle, uh, reverse triangle. So put the weight on the left foot again and step back with the right. Good. Now we're going to point both feet forward. So you turn that left foot forward, both feet forward. And again, breathe in to lift and lengthen the body. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in. And yeah, as you breathe out, turn towards your right leg. Breathe in here. And as you exhale, left hand comes down to the outside of the right leg. How far down you feel is comfortable. It could go down to the ankle. You can hold on to that ankle and reach up away from that uh, hand with the right hand going up to the ceiling. Try and keep, again, that right shoulder wants to move away from the right ear. Breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. Feel that belly expand as you breathe in and out. One more breath in, then take the right hand down to the right foot. Step that left hand across to the left foot. Good, breathe in. And as you breathe out, keep the hands on the feet there, but just let the elbows bend out to the sides and the head comes down to the ground. Straight, strong legs, not locked in the knee though. And you're bringing your head closer towards the ground. Breathe. Just feeling the backs of the legs getting a bit of a stretch there. And the back coming down to the ground. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Now take the hands to the hips and lift the body to look. So look forward. So you're not coming up yet. You're looking forwards and lifting the elbows, opening the chest. So we have a straight back, strong belly, strong back. Strong legs and buttocks there, supporting everything. Now use the inhale to lift up the body and release. Good, other side. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in. As you breathe out, turn to your left now. Breathe in here and breathing out. Right hand comes down to the outside of your left leg, maybe down to the ankle if you can get down there, but wherever it feels good for you. Reaching up the left hand to the ceiling, turning the chest. So we've got a strong twist in here. Keep the left shoulder down away from the ear. Nearly always you want to try and keep the shoulders away from the ears. And make a nice long neck, looking up at those fingers, extending up to the ceiling. Breathe deeply, breathe deeply. Expand the belly, expand the chest. Breathe out everything. One more breath in and take the left hand down to the left foot. Step the right hand across to the right foot. Let's bring the fingers to the centre, lift the eyes, look forwards, inhale. And exhaling, bring the hands down, maybe flatten the hands. If you need to bend the knees slightly, that's okay. To make contact with the ground or flatten the hands. Inhale, coming up, look up again. Onto the fingertips and breathe out, forward bend. Good, and let's do one more of those, breathing in. And breathing out, bring the hands down. And as your hands are there, just then let your head hang, let your knees bend and let the body just go. So see if you can just release everything forwards now. You can hold on to your elbows if you want to, or you can just let your arms flop onto the ground. Take a few releasing breaths, breathe into the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Good. And bring your focus of attention to the base of the spine and start to lift from the base of the spine. Keep the knees bent, leave the arms hanging. Keep breathing in and out as you unfurl. Enjoy the unfurling. See how slowly you can do this. Focusing on each little vertebrae as it uncurls, as it unfurls to standing. Okay, once you're standing, just roll the shoulders back a few times. Breathing in and breathing out. Take the fingers behind, interlink the fingers. Open the chest a bit more, even. And another forward bend. So breathing in, lift the chest, look forwards. And as you bend forward, soften the knees slightly. And we're going to come forward, set the hands, just rest on the back to begin. Coming into this forward bend. And this is going to be a great shoulder opener. So we just let the arms fall over the body. They're coming over the front of the body. Opening the shoulders. Oops not uh, pushing or forcing in any way, we're just releasing all the time and seeing if just by breathing deeply, by particularly lengthening that out breath, 
there's a little bit more release to be had. Soften the knees. We don't want the knees to be locked in this position. Let's give it another breath here. Breathing into that chest area and feeling that release. Bring the hands still interlinked into the center of the back. And just draw a circle there in the middle of the back. And then we'll draw a circle the other direction and slowly uncurl to standing. Nice and easy. Still circling that back. That feels good. Let me bring the feet together. Give our legs a little shake. And just pummel the lower back a little bit. Let's get this energy fired up. And then take the knuckles and the lower back. Oh, yeah, let's uh, get that energy activated and get it moving, get it rising up through the spine. Good. Okay, I'm going to take the wrists. Feel that energy coming into the extremities as well. It's definitely what yoga can help your blood circulation, but also the energy flow. Okay, so another standing posture. Let's come into a warrior now. So we're going to be doing peaceful warriors. So step up the front of the mat, check your feet are parallel, hips width apart, soft knees. Weight on the left, take a big step back with the right, big, big step. Maybe get it a bit wider still, if you've got a bit more space. That foot's pointing slightly forward, the back foot. Just level the hips, get them really um, level to themselves and to the front edge of the mat. Breathing in, lift the arms up, lift the chest, lengthen the front of the body. As you breathe out, the arms come down to shoulder height, breathing in. And as you breathe out, the bend, the knee, left knee bends in line with the toes, pushing back into that right foot with even effort. Keep the tummy tucked in, keep the tailbone pointing down. Now we're going to come into peaceful warrior. So breathe in. And as you breathe out, reaching back with that right hand and down, meeting that back leg, the right leg. And then the left hand is coming up to the ceiling. We turn the palm and reach over the body. Keep the bend in the front knee, keep it very strong. It will want to start straightening out. I'm just showing you, but we're just trying to keep it really in the warrior position. So we've got the evenness between the feet and this lovely extension in the side of the body, looking up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm, breathing in, breathing out. Use the inhale to come back to warrior two and exhale, sink into it a little deeper. Long exhale. Inhale, coming up, straighten the legs. Exhale, lower the arms down. Bend into the right knee and bring yourself back to the front of that. Give a nice little shake. Gonna feel good. The reset. Weight on the right foot, big step back with the left. Big step. Make it a bit wider if you can. Get the hips level and get the hips facing the long edge of the mat. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Lift the chest, breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Keep the lift in that chest. So as you breathe out, bending into the right knee, it's hovering above the ankle. Open up the hips here. So really think about the knee uh, going right, going to your right. So we're in this warrior now, extend between the fingertips, push back into that back foot, make it strong, the back leg. Breathe in. And as you exhale, reaching back with that left hand and down. Make contact with the leg, reaching up with the right and turn the palm and reach over the body. So the palm is facing the ground here. We're looking up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm. So this, we're not kind of, you know, doing ourselves out of this nice extension here. Keep the bend in the front knee, just check that it's still there. It might be that you've kind of it's just started to straighten out when you um, extend it backwards. Both arms are straight, so left arm is straight. This one is, is straight, but it's kind of curved over the head. Looking up at the ceiling, breathe deeply. Use the inhale. And lift up back to warrior and exhale to sink into it. Feel the even weight between the feet for a second there. Inhale, straighten the legs up. Exhale, lower the arms down, bend into the left knee, and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Get the left a little shake there. Okay, let's just come into a little squat here to relieve these hips. A little squat like a frog. <laughs> if your heels aren't making contact with the ground, don't forget to put some padding underneath them, a blanket or a cushion. 
And then just let our head fall forward, let the weight of the head, give the weight of the head to the ground. Really feel that release in the back of the neck, which will also we'll feel that into the upper, um, the upper back and also into the shoulders. Let's give ourselves some uh, release out through the mouth. Have a nice sigh. Ah, yeah, give it some sound. And then come up to lift the back up. Good. We bring the left hand to the middle. And on the inhale, the fingertips lift up to the ceiling. Let's make a lovely open gesture, big open chest, looking up at the right hand. And then rotate that right wrist around to the right or clockwise if you like. Make it a nice big circle. Just watching it, enjoying that flowing movement. And then we go the opposite direction. We're going to go anti-clockwise. And again, enjoy that flowing movement of the wrist. And it's coming back down to the earth. Lovely fluid wrist and fingers. Right hand on the ground, breathing in, lift the left fingertips. So lifting up to the ceiling. Keep extending as if you want to reach the ceiling with this hand. And the chest is looking up at the left hand. And then rotate this wrist, left wrist around in circles clockwise. Enjoy, just watch, just watch yourself, watch your body, watch the movement, enjoy the movement. Be involved in your actions and intentions for your actions. So rotating in the opposite direction, in the anti-clockwise. Yeah, still moving around. And it's coming back down to the ground. Good. Put the weight into the hands. Come into a ragdoll position. So we get to have a squat and a ragdoll. So it's a real lovely releasing and reviving. Knees are bent, let the body hang. Take a deep breath into the nostrils. Sigh. Ah. 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 Now lift from the base of the spine. Keep the knees bent. Imagine this thread lifting you. See if you can identify each little vertebrae. Keep breathing in and out through your nostril. Rebuilding your spine, making it longer, stronger, taller, more spacious, more energized as you come to standing. Just feel that energy coming into the back. Let's have a little mini back bend here as well. We've had a kind of a restorative forward bend, but some mini back bend. So feet, hips and apart, don't forget. Knees already bent, not just off, but bent. Hands on the lower back, fingers pointing down. Bring the elbows together, shoulders down, away from the ears, breathe in. As you breathe out, just taking the hips forward and bending the knees, and really just holding the back, supporting. This is a support, so the front of the body can really open up. So don't think of it even as a back bend, think of it as a, as a front expansion. Yeah, particularly these hip flexors. You know, this is, uh, we're really contradicting and counteracting the sitting disease that we all have. So this is going to be very tight if we do a lot of sitting. So use the inhale to lift ourselves back up. Keep supporting the back and release. Okay, let's come into a balance. We're going to come into a tree balance. So put the weight onto the left foot. Take a breath in and out. Let's just take a moment. Plant that foot first of all, roots going down from the sole of the foot. Place the right foot either on the ground, so the foot is on the ankle, or the calf, or the uh, thigh. Press firmly. If you're particularly pressing the thigh, press the thigh back. Breathe in, lift the arms up, bring the hands together above the head, bring the hands into the prayer position, pressing the hands together, opening the chest, lifting the chest, shoulders down. Really think about the whole of your body. Everything is expanding. And you know, like how a tree expands in every direction, responding to its environment. So, you know, the upper part of the tree is responding to the light and the warmth and the air. It's just expanding and reaching towards that light. And the roots going down are reaching into the earth, looking for nutrients and moisture, water, nourishment feeling. So think about that, your body is doing that opening and expanding to receive 
to receive the light, to receive the energy, to receive the love and the support, like a tree. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Slowly without breath. Inhale, lift that right knee up. So we can just hold that for a second before we let go of the knee and slowly lower the leg down if you can. Yeah, give the legs a little shake there. Yeah. And transfer the weight onto the right foot. Really plant that foot, let the roots go down. And when you're ready, when you find a point for your eyes to focus, keep breathing in and out. Place that foot where it needs to go, on the leg, not on the knee, basically. Anywhere else is okay. Pressing firmly, pressing the leg back firmly. Really feeling the hips are level here. You're not pushing your leg, uh, hips out of line. This is why you have to push the leg back. So we're pressing forward the center line. We breathe in, we bring our hands to that same center line above the head, and we bring it into the heart center. So this is the line at our center, pressing towards. Yeah. The yin and the yang, the light and the dark. The polarities that are always at play in ourselves. So we're feeling the roots going down from the sole of the foot into the darkness, and the body, the tree, the crown, the leaves, all the kind of light, bright stuff we see that is visible. There is as much that isn't visible as there is visible in trees. So that's interesting. Okay, breathe. So you can just hold for another breath. Focus your mind. Now we come out slowly, breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, lower the arms down, slowly, slowly, slowly. And then we lift that knee and give it an extra little lift, hold, and then let go of it. Let go of the knee and let the foot slowly float to the ground. And we give both the legs a little bit of a shake to reset. Ah, yeah. So, let's bring the feet into the hips width apart, feet are parallel, lift the toes, place them down, lift the heels, place them down. Feel the feet. Shift the weight from right to left, from left to right, just feel that. It's just really trying to take a bit of time with the feet so we can actually really feel the point of contact with the ground and support of the ground. So breathing and moving, a little interlude here. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, the hands come down to the ground. Breathing in, open up. Bring the hands above the head, and as you breathe out, the hands come down. This is all gonna do, but with a little bit of a lift, slight balance by lifting the heels off the ground. So inhaling, lift the heels off the ground. Push the toes up. Inhaling and then exhaling, we're coming down. And the job here really is for the mind, body and breath to be in harmony. And we want to miss movement to be smooth, even, steady. We want to be following the breath. We want to be expanded and extended, strong movement at the top. And then there's a very softening. Soft, steady, even breath as the arms come down, as the heels come down to the ground. Inhale, opening up. Lifting up, extending, expanding, and then exhaling, softening, returning. Yeah. Letting go, inhaling, taking in, extending, inspiration, sky, and then exhaling, coming back down to the earth. Back down, very soft, and just releasing. One more of these, inhaling all the way up. Push those toes, push the heels off the ground, and then breathing out, slow, steady, out breath. So we have this balance and evenness of breath and of body on that combination. Let's come into another balance. One we don't always do, but it's always fun to do. So the eagle, lots of twisting up, lots of pressure, lots of uh, effort, this one. So we're gonna start on the left foot, lots of balance today as well. Bend that knee a lot, as much as you can. I know that's not easy. You can always hold onto the furniture if you need to. 
lift that right knee really high, higher than you think you need. Take it right over that left thigh. Try and get the leg right far over and then keep that bend in the left knee. Park the toe behind if you can, otherwise just press the legs together. Try not to lean forward, try and sit up really tall, stand up really tall uh, with your spine. And then we take the left hand underneath, the right hand on top, the hands facing upwards. We're gonna just fold them over as far as we can. Then we bend the elbows and bring the hands together onto the base there. Keep the shoulders down, but keep the elbows lifted. Breathe, squeeze the legs together. Hold, try not to, very difficult, but try not to grip the toes. I know when you squeeze your legs, you almost like you naturally grip with the toes, but see if you can actually separate those things out. We're gonna come into this flying eagle now, so breathe in and out. And then you inhale, lift the arms up, extend the leg and breathe out. Good. Let's give everything a little shake. Shoulders and knees. Ah, good. Okay. Weight, send that into the right foot. Bend that right knee a lot. Lift the left knee high to get right over the right side. Bend that right knee again. Really, really get that low down and tuck the right left toe behind the, the right leg. Lift up the chest, make the belly strong. This time the right arm goes underneath, the left arm on top, cross the arms right over, then bend the elbows and bring the hands together. So keep the shoulders down. We don't want our shoulders hunched up by the ears, but try and lift the elbows away from the body. Squeeze those legs together. That will help your balance, believe it or not. And take your gaze to your third eye space, the space between the eyebrows. Try to ungrip the toes. If you're finding this difficult, you know, just do uh, one part, just the arms or the legs, or hold onto the wall. But keep trying as well. Sometimes it's just a matter of a few attempts to find it. Now we're going to breathe in and out. On the next inhale, we're going to fly. Inhale, flying up. Exhale, lower down. And it feels so nice when it's finished. <laughs> and you feel the whole body now. Yeah, just shake everything up. Ah, okay. So yes, let's come into our half sun salute. But first of all, we're just going to again have another little back bend. I think it's always nice to have these little back bends to encourage this opening in the front of the hips there. So have a little rub of the lower back. That's going to feel good. And also just keep that energy from settling. Let's get the energy just kind of keeping it, keeping it heated up. And also it's encouraging for, the, for ourselves to feel that good feeling of the lower back rub. Feet hips width apart, bend the knees, breathing in, lift the chest, open the chest, keep the elbows back of the bed in a touch, push the hips forwards, but hold the support back. See if you can open up so the chest is coming upwards towards your chin. We're really making the, the front of the abdominals as long as possible, and particularly opening up the fronts of the hips there. But the knees need to be bent here. Knees going forwards. So use the inhale to come back up. That will help support that. Give the back another little rub. And release. Half sun salute. So, we know this, <clears throat> so let's really try and focus, keep most of our focus on the breath. We start and we breathe in, and we breathe out through the nostrils. And we lift the toes and place them down, and lift the heels and place them down. Really slow to begin, we're gonna go really slow. Just soften the knees, remind the knees to be soft. I give them a little shake just to remind them, they soften up. And then we lengthen up through the whole body, crown is going to the ceiling here. Nice tall mountain, breathe in. Breathing out, the hands come down to the ground. We look down. As the arms come up, we inhale, we look up, the hands come up above the head, they meet, we see them. And then the exhale, the arms coming out to the side. So as you're doing this with knees bent, it's a strong belly. It's a strong belly, strong back. Fingertips come down to the ground and out. Inhale, hands come just below the knees or on the knees. Take the chest forward, take the shoulders back. Inhale, open the chest. Breathing out with straight legs now, forward bend. Look at the toes. Breathe out fully, bend the knees a lot, so that as you inhale, you push up from the earth. Inhale, reach up, exhale, lower the arms down to the sides. Inhaling, reach up, exhale, bend the knees, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, look forward, open the chest, straight back, arms, legs, 
and forward bend. Bend the knees a little. Inhale, push up through the legs. Exhale, arms come down, focusing on the breath. Inhaling as the arms come up, look up. Exhaling as you, you dive in, the chest is leading this movement, the chin, fingertips, knees are bent here. Now the inhale, the legs straighten up, look forward. This is what takes us into this position. And then breathing out, forward bend. Hands flatten the floor, bend the knees a lot, lift the eyes, lift the hands, lift the inhale, high up, and then breathe out. Let's go a bit faster. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale down to the floor, knees bent. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, forward bend, straight legs. Bend the knees a lot, breathing in all the way up. Push up through the feet. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, forward bend. Bend the knees a lot, breathing in all the way up. Exhale, arms come down. Let's get energy moving, breathing in. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, forward bend. Straight legs, bend the knees now. Inhale. Strong legs, exhale. Let's do one more of these. Let's get the energy moving. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bend the knees, inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands to the center. Stand for a moment. In. And uh, uh, Anjali Tadasana. So just check your feet. Feet should be hips away. Feel the ground with the toes. Don't grip. Soft knees. Position of the pelvis. Just tilt it forward slightly. Strong here. Stable in the belly. Strong and stable in the back. Lift the chest. Just feel that flow of energy moving around. Pressing the palms together. This point of contact. This center. Acknowledging our center and the two um, opposing forces, if you like, or, or extremes, the two extremes, you know, which is a way of looking at things, you know. We have to kind of imagine things in a dual way because we're humans. Lengthen the back of the neck, lifting the chest, shoulders down, close your eyes for a second. Just take your attention around your body as we stand in our lovely tall mountain. Feel your feet, feel the weight shifting around along the tiny little parts of the soles of the feet. Feel your contact with the ground, feel the soft textured surface of whatever you're standing on, the mat or the floor or the carpet. And just feel your breath moving in your body. Feel your breath, feel your body, feel your point of contact with the ground. Just notice how it feels to go inward slightly. When we close our eyes, we feel that inward space, that inner space, that infinite space. When we're in the dark, you know, it's infinite, it's much bigger. And just drop the hands down. Just stand for a moment. And we're going to just come into a chair. Again, strong for the legs. So then check your feet, our hips are apart, parallel, look at them. And as you inhale, lift the arms up, stretch up, really lengthen, push the feet into the ground. And as you breathe out strong, immediately, as soon as the bottom goes back, engage the abdominals. We're gonna need them to support that back and also because we're being very long here. Back of the neck stays long with the arms. So rather than staying looking at the hands, we're looking wherever. And we look, we get, gradually start to move that. As we come, come down, we start to look more and more at the ground. Extend the fingers forwards. Feel the heat in the legs, feel the energy. Sit back deeper. Make sure the knees and the thighs are strong. Just fuel your body with the breath. You can do it. Stay a little bit longer. One more breath. In and out. Then use the inhale to come back up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Good. Let's just loosen everything up with another twist. So take the feet a bit wider, bend the knees, and we just loosen, loosen everything up. 
Oh, yeah. Take a few releasing breaths. Let everything loosen. Be free. Keep the back upright though. Keep the chest open. Let the arms just flop into the body. Nice and easy. And come to a stop. Okay, we're going to come down to the ground. So we're going to come in a slow little squat. Another squat, but this is much easier. And you can go at your own pace. Breathing in, lift the arms forward, take the shoulders back. Inhale again as you exhale. We're going to sit back again. So immediately again, strong belly, making sure the knees and the thighs are working. They're staying stable. As we keep extending forwards with the arms to allow ourselves to sit back a bit deeper and then take the hands behind. Stretch the legs out in front, bounce the knees up and down. Yeah. So we're going to bend the right knee. Now, I'll get to the body. Maybe give the knee a little bit of a rub. Yeah, good. And then let the knee fall out to the side, but the sole of the right foot just be in contact with the inner thigh there. As always, if that knee is quite high, put some cushions underneath it, make it easier for yourself. Sit up onto your sitting bones. Sometimes it's quite nice just to lift up onto the fingertips and just sit a bit more comfortably. And then we're going to take the left hand behind and the right hand on the outside of that left knee, breathing in, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, shoulders down away from the ears. And as you breathe out, you're going to twist around to the left. Try and lead with the lower part of the body, um, the belly, the ribs, the chest, and then finally the head and the neck and the eyes and the nose. Keep dropping the shoulders, keep supporting your back with your left arm. Leaning and lengthening your spine up against that arm, and keeping the shoulders down. So you feel really engaged in your body, really strong and really expanded. And integrating the breath with that strength. Inhale one more time and arm twist to the front. Inhale, lift the arms up. It's like a lovely, elegant movement. Inhale, looking up at the fingers. And as you breathe out, slowly breathe out and reach forwards. You can breathe in again. Lengthen and breathe out slowly, leaning forwards. And let the hands land somewhere easy without straining. Remove the strain. If you're doing this kind of straining and bending in the back, come away even further and take the chest forwards. Breathe. Put the hands rest on the leg or on the ground, either side. Look at the toes with your eyes. Look at the toes with your, imagine the big eye in the middle of the chest. The heart eye wants to see those toes. Doesn't want to see the knee, wants to see the toes. So all the time thinking about lengthening and expanding. So come away a little bit, create more space. And reach forwards, close the eyes. Let's just see if we can stay for a couple more breaths and focus on the release. So notice where you're really pushing and just pull back from that pushing if you like. Notice where the muscles are tight and just communicate with them kindly and say, hey, give me a bit more space, just relax, it's okay, I'm not going to do anything to hurt you body. Mm. Notice how the body responds when you actually just say that to it amazing and just walk the hands back up the leg lift that right knee lift the left knee hug the knees drop the head down to the knee open the back just take the shoulders forward and really open the space between the shoulder blades just let it be really expanded breathing in <sighs> out to the knee Ah, let your sound out. Enjoy that sound. Relax the back of the neck there. Then we're going to just extend that right leg out, toes towards the ceiling. Bring that left knee in. Let's give that left knee a little rub. Yeah. And let the knee fall out to the side and the foot is on the inside of that thigh. Take the left hand on the outside of that knee. Take the right hand behind you, close to the body. So I'm really kind of pushing into the ground in a way so that I can lift my chest away from my hands contact with the ground and this left hand's contact with the outside of the knee. Breathe in, 
lengthen the body, fill it with space. And as you breathe out again, the ribs, the chest, the right shoulder, the eyes, the nose, everything is turning to look behind you. Keep lifting the chest on the inhale. You'll feel the abdominals engage as you do that. Long, strong back. Release, lengthen the out breath. Inhale one more time and twist to the front. Inhale, lift the arms up, lift the fingers to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, take the body forwards. Not the arms aren't leading, it's the body, it's the chest. Imagine the heart's going first, the heart's leading the movement and then bring the hands into contact with the leg or the ground. Wherever you're at, really feel that you wanna have quality here. And you're not pushing or forcing or putting yourself in any pain. You're looking for that edge, that kind of edge of, okay, there's, it's a little bit uncomfortable there. You know, I can't really, I feel like that's what's where my body's allowing me to go to. And then say, thank you, thank you body for protecting me, <laughs> making sure I don't overdo things, make sure I don't hurt myself. And then we come away from that little bit, give it a bit of space. So it can just, respond and so when we return to that place again it's maybe there's a slightly bit more space maybe there's a slightly more responsive feeling maybe the body's gotten used to it maybe the body's relaxed a little bit you might even want to come away again inhaling lengthen the spine taking the chest forwards as the chest comes forward it's like the tail is going in the other direction you've got this lengthening this extending between the chest and the base of the spine. And we take the body forwards and breathe deeply. It's interesting once we let go of having this one focus on just the achieving or what we think we're trying to achieve, you know, everything just starts opening up. And when the body starts relaxing and you know everything starts becoming more interesting. And this applies obviously to life itself. You know, once we take our I offer this kind of endpoint, this idea of an endpoint, put the hands back up. Instead, use that, you know, where we want to go, use that as a kind of uh, navigation point rather than an endpoint. Lift that left knee up, lift the right knee up, and just hug. Hug, hug, hug. Walk the legs a little bit. Yeah, hug the knees, hug the knees. Breathe in through the nostrils. <sighs> Fire out the mouth. Let's take the hands around the fronts of these shins. We'll do other legs. So we lift the chest, take the shoulders back, strong belly, lots of uh, abdominal work today. I haven't finished with that either. So we're totally just coming off the ground here in this lovely balanced cosmic egg. And just see how it feels to close your eyes in this posture. What's the difference? Maybe see what it's like when your eyes are open. How does it feel? What is the impact? What is your focus? And then close the eyes and think, how does that feel now? So take a moment and then release. And now we're going to come into uh, you have a little, if you need to release a bit more, you can just hug the knees. So now we're going to take the hands behind the knees, give that behind the knees a little rub. That's nice. A little massage. And now we're going to come into a boat. So we'll just do this in stages as we always do. So we start to lift the feet off the ground, start to definitely lift the chest. So it's not just pushing the chest down, it's lifting. So we're really being strong in the back here, strong and strong in the belly. So it's mutual support system here going on. And we're not leaning back here and hunching the shoulders up, shoulders down away from the ears. The body's coming towards the legs, if you like. And we can get the legs maybe parallel to the ground here. And then release. Ah, release, fully. Off in the abdominals, and then we return again. This time you can do the same thing, or you can see if you can go a little bit further. So a little bit further would either be coming to this position and taking the hands away, or maybe coming to this position and holding on. So this is the full boat, but with the, the support. So it's really thinking about lengthening the front of the body, strong belly, strong back. Make your choices. Good, and then lower down, hug the knees. Yeah, we'll do one more of these, just so you get a chance to try anything you want to. 
that's the thing is if you feel yourself start, self starting to shake then just pull back a little bit because we're not really the body is it's like not happy when it's shaking like that better instead just to soften you know go back a stage and just to kind of you know be, be in harmony with the body so again you start lifting the chest shoulders back long neck and then come into the start maybe take it without the hands or just stay in, the, in this position you know whatever you choose you want to come into the full posture you know this is hard work very hard work for the whole body particularly the abdominals so we breathe and the breath will support you one more breath in and breathing out release relax hug the knees Inhale, exhale, stretch the legs out in front. Then we're going to slowly lie the body back. So extend the fingers towards the toes, slowly lay down, breathing in and out through the nostrils. This is really going to finish off the abdominals. And when you're let down, you're going to be so much happier. So I'll let everything go once you're lying on the ground. Have a full extension just to stretch out those abdominals because they've been working hard. It's always good to give lots of space to the body. Point the toes, extend the arms above the head. Breathe deeply. Breathe. Breathe. Good. And then we're just going to hug the knees. So we're going from one extreme to the other, really extended, and then really small little ball. And even bring the face up to the knees just to make ourselves really small. And bring the head down. Just to make some circles. So we're going to make some circles with the hips now. So one hand on top of each knee, breathing in, take the knees away as far as you can. Breathing out, let the knees fall away from each other and back towards the body. Breathing in and breathing out. Just enjoying the body, breathing in and breathing out. Do this as slow as your breath will allow. So we're trying to keep the breath really slow, steady and even. And we're moving in time with that breath. Challenge yourself to just breathe out a little deeper, particularly when you bring your knees out to the sides, just see if there's a little bit more give there, just by giving a bit more time. Not seeing there's more give by pushing or expecting more, but just by being more patient, just waiting for the body to release a little bit more by lengthening the out breath and seeing there's a bit more space before coming back to the body. Change directions to start with the knees far away, breathe in, breathing out, bring the knees into the body. Breathing in, knees go away. This feels so good, isn't it? This is a great one to do with your eyes closed so you can just feel not just your hips and just the movement in your hips, but also the breath that is supporting this. You can feel your breath almost in your hips, just loosening it up. See so if you can experience that, your breath in your hips. We know we're breathing in that far nostrils, but we can imagine or feel or direct our breath, or at least the uh, subtle part of the breath, the subtle energy into the hip joint, giving it some healing, some attention some freedom. Hips are very important. Just hug the knees. Hips obviously, you know, this is the point where the body fixes to the legs and legs, you know, are movement or forward motion. So often if we find our hips are, um, you know, causing us problems, often to do with, you know, holding back, not wanting to move forwards. Not wanting, not, yeah, that's, that's, that's a kind of my reading of that anyway. Maybe you've experienced that. Stretch the legs up, stretch the arms up to the ceiling, rotate the wrists and ankles all at the same time. Maybe even let the knees and the elbows join in. It's kind of not really circles, it's kind of just sort of like spaghetti, but it's kind of nice feeling just to feel that spaghettiness of the arms and legs. And then rotate the wrists and ankles in the other direction. And we feel a bit more spaghetti. That's kind of even more strange. It's almost like <laughs> the limbs start doing all these kind of crazy movements, which is always good to not be moving in straight lines. Have a little rock and roll, lower back. 
the sole of the feet on the ground, slide the legs away slowly. Take one more stretch. Point the toes, expand, feel your full expanded self. See how that feels. And then relax the arms and legs. Let the feet fall out to the side, breathe in. And as you breathe out through your nostrils, lift the arms up. And slowly the arms are just floating down to the sides of the body. Let the arms just rest on the ground and slowly enroll up into Shavasana and corpse position. And close your eyes. If you are wanting to put any warmer things over you, this is the moment to do that. We have a short relaxation. Let's see how that, how that feels. Take a moment. Maybe take some releasing breaths, breathe into the nostrils. And sigh out from the mouth. Let it all go. Also, just take a moment before you go deep into, deep into the relaxation. Just take a moment to notice the impact of your efforts and practice has shifted things for you today. How you felt at the beginning of things for you. How does it feel now? What is the impact of the yoga? Of your efforts, of your concentration, of the movements of your breath and body. Feel that. Notice that. Draw your attention to it. And just let that go. And let your breath soften. Allow your belly to rise and fall softly. See how soft you can make your breath. And with every out breath, just feel the body softening deeper, melting into the earth. Returning to the earth, going deep into the ground, feeling soft and held, warm, and nourished by the earth, by the ultimate mother, the earth. Mm. Feel yourself soft, held. Like a little animal hibernating in the winter, really, really still and quiet, peaceful. Just enjoy that little oasis, that little moment of peace, tranquility, calm. Like the earth is just hugging you. Containing you, holding you softly. And such love. Such care. Like you're a precious little seedling. Precious little seed. Let everything else go. Any ideas, thoughts, sensations, worries, activity, let it all go. And so we come to the end of our relaxation. Notice how you feel. Feel yourself coming back to the day. Feel yourself and your body on the ground. Come back from, back from the dead, revivified back from the corpse position. So we come back and we come back to life and we stretch the body and move and bring some breath into the body. Maybe just stretch 
And maybe we want to hug ourselves, whatever feels good for you. And take some time to come back. And speak a position. Give your body a little bit of attention. Just feeling the surfaces. Mm. Chest, heart. Feeling a sense of yourself. I am here. Here I am. Let's finish with our Sankalpa. Take a close. Rub the palms together vigorously. Make some fire. And once you've made a good fire, then you can connect that with your heart center. Bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Take your focus inwards. Take your focus deep into the very center. And bring to mind your sankalpa, your intention. And say that to yourself with meaning and emphasis and joy. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your practice. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace. Peace, peace.